tell us a little bit about what made you decide to, to be a part of this new made classic? What made you decide? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> ball in, ball in Phillips Court. Um, <coughs> the, uh, well, Nick, once I met Nick, actually yeah. the director, he had such a vision for the show. And he had such a crazy imagination. And he's got such a great backstory anyway. He's a very exciting man. Yeah. <laughs> when you meet him, he's like, he's, he is very, I mean, he looks right into you and pauses. Like, that's the opening. It's like a giant yeah. pause. Morning, you're Nick. like, I have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> and then he kind of, you know, jumps into, you know, the history of, you know, Victorian England. And yeah, that's right. And why Alice is perfect for our day and age. Yes. And why he needs to direct it. And why you're, and why you're right. perfect for it. As you're watching the movie, part of the fun is seeing how things have been messed with. Like seeing, you know, what they did with kind of costume and makeup and uh, how they took this kind of character that we all know and turned it on its ear. And so that's, yeah, that's right. part of the jigsaw puzzle that you're like, oh, yeah, that's that part. Yeah, and I think that's part <laughs> of the, the pleasure of watching it is you do have those little things that kind of go back to the book. You go, oh, right. crikey, that's, uh, I'll keep watching. We were shooting in this location that no one had used before, which was this. Um, this is why I didn't like it. It was this abandoned uh, tuberculosis village. It was a children's tuberculosis hospital. That, that had become a down. mental <laughs> institution right. afterwards. And it was kind of all grown over. And when we got there, <laughs> <laughs> Philip was talking about how he'd seen this small child wandering around. Every once around. in a while, you'd see like a little girl, and you'd hear like, <laughs> la, 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 la. And it was right at dusk, and the, and the swing sets, the rusty swing sets would kind of go, Oh, yes, there were these abandoned, like, playgrounds with the, like, you know, the turning, like, merry-go-round without the horses. Really Very creepy. Like it was really, really creepy. And but we, we but were filming there. Well, and one day after he'd kind of been talking about this little girl, and I was like, stop, stop, stop. Uh, yes. I came to my trailer, and there was this little pair of baby shoes on my trailer <laughs> steps. <laughs> That's right. That was, that wasn't that? Was that. <laughs> <laughs> you get to be a brunette butt-kicking. Yeah, yeah. I brought the darkness. She took you down. Yes, yeah, she certainly did. I did. Emotionally as well. Mm -hmm. Right off she the She did look fantastic. There was a day where we first walked on the set, and there she was in her dress, in her Alice dress, in her little boot thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, are, you are Alice, aren't you? Like Alice, but kind of twiggy. Well, and I think the brunette thing, we kind of talked about it in, in originally, because, yeah, people do kind of expect this blonde icon. And, uh, but we figured, you know, even visually from the beginning, we would tell people that this is a very different story. What can we expect from the new Alice? What, what Let's you see. Um, don't expect anything. It will be very unexpected. It's um, it's it's a bit, you know, it's darker and it's um, kind of sexier and there's uh, you know, a love story and it plays with a lot of kind of very mature themes about you know emotional repression and and self discovery and mm -hmm. so it's kind of it tips its hat to all of the themes and characters in the original stories, but it kind of really spins it yeah. into an entirely different adventure. Let's talk a little bit about the oh other people gosh. that we'll see in Alice and, and the way that we'll see them in Alice. Well, first of all, I think there's Andrew, right? Andrew Lee Potts. Just, he's, he's just amazing. He's amazing. Mad Hatter. He was yeah. perfect. He was absolutely awesome. Uh, we had, uh, <laughs> did we have Tim, uh, Tim, Tim, Tim Curry? Tim Curry came in and played Dodo. We Harry Dean Stanton, Cole Meany, oh, he was great. Matt Frewer. Matt Frewer. The White Knight, who is... And he's so funny. He's the man. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. And, and Kathy Bates played the Queen of Hearts. Oh, my gosh. And she was incredible. I mean, you, you should talk about that. You, you well, those were days on sets where you literally, I mean, you, you kind of hunker back with all the, with the talent guys and stuff. Humbly so observe. You would just watch. <laughs> and you'd be kind of, you, you would, you'd be there with the other books and you'd be like, yeah. okay, can we really have Kathy Bates? Yeah. And they were all doing it too. They were going, this is crazy. Right. Ever since she was breaking legs with a sledgehammer, she's she's, a, she's amazing. And she's yeah. good at playing bad. And, and she's good at playing bad. That's she's right. not breaking any legs, but she mm -hmm. could. Right. She could. She could. She's Just her with her eyes. What are your favorite shows to watch on TV? <laughs> Mad Men. I mean, whose isn't? <laughs> you know, he doesn't. I'm so guilty. Watch. I haven't even seen it yet. But, but maybe that's good, because now you can wait until you have all the seasons on DVD, and then you can right. get, like, a fever and watch them, that's like, right. in a marathon. Get swine flu <laughs> and just feel <laughs> myself yeah. by watching Mad Men. Yeah. My wife, and I, Megan, and I just uh, sat down. We actually started in Vancouver watching Lost. Right. I wanted to be one of those people who just, oh, I haven't seen it. Yes. I haven't seen Lost. It's fantastic mm -hmm. TV. It gets even better. It's amazing television. I heard it's like crap. I haven't watched it. <laughs> it's not like crack. It's more like um, heroin. Okay. Okay. Tasted like heroin.